rehearsals. As I said, I know my lines, so why rehearsals? And I do not need any prompter. And you, Sir Director, do you forgot the real purpose of my presence here? What? Oh, no. No, sir! I am not here to show myself to everybody on TV and enjoy for that. I repeat, I am not an actor. I am not a person. I am a character looking for my author. No, sir. I am not mad. There are many forms to be, and my form is to be a character with a story that may could be your fortune, sir. Through my story, you could be, you could become <laughs> very famous. But please, help me. Help me to find my author. Do you see sadness? In these faces, they want me out of my story because they think my story's over. And so they think I need an author who could reinvent a story for me and they, and they are mad because uh, I really not want that. They are sad and bored because my, my grief, but I can't stop my grief because my lover is gone. And is my right, my grief, but they, all of these people, they want to stop my grief. And uh, do you know, director, what they are really wishing? that uh, my inventor, my author, can kill me! And uh, wars reinvent me as they like! Is it horrible? I am not what they like. Never. So I look for my author, any author, to be saved from this nightmare. Sir, wait. Look at, look at their eyes that are hating me, hating me through this camera. Sir, please stop those lights on me and direct.
all this light looking for my author, please? human being yes. so by this big strong mask you know so I is this is my way and this is of course it's a theater um yeah when you when you said uh well of course pirandello i'm not playing a role but no indeed i mean uh uh, uh the the worker the quote-unquote worker i mean we're all working most of us are working at what we do and yet uh for you as an actor that and a singer and everything else that you do uh yeah to uh to be able to bring theater to cinema and uh, enhance cinema, you know, because uh, I've been thinking about it lately because I'm trying to think about a screenplay to write. And I, uh, every film I see now, I think, oh, this was, this was in the, the mind of, of people or the writer or the actors working together. And then all of a sudden, it's there. And it's a lot different than a sculpture. Oh, for example. yes, it's a big emotion. <laughs> it's a big emotion, exactly what you said. And this was in the mind of the actor, means in the, in the body too, of the, in the, of the actors, the directors, the playwriters, the workers, and we have a creation now. So, um, yes, this is uh, fantastic. So it's like a woman pregnant. Of course, we know when uh, uh, something is... Uh, born so it's a big emotion for us every time we face the stage uh, forever uh, uh, we feel some emotion before to go to the stage right. so I played billion of times and me too of course I am very emotional even now means when I start the performance now I was very emotional and uh, uh, so this, uh, so we we unfortunately when we go on the stage we uh, we become part of another world because on the stage the mechanism the relations are uh, is another world so it's not anymore life so people that said theater is like life no. <laughs> theater is not life never we are not life okay we are character sorry means uh, theater put bigger something that belongs life but never theater is life okay so the people that said okay i play in the life i could play in the theater no way because also of course we know theater is a big profession that few people can do very few yes. people because uh, the purpose of the theater is to put the audience happy but not happy to laugh but have be inside, in the mind, in the heart, not to enjoy. Yes, it's also to enjoy, but not only to enjoy. So I hate all the production of TV, cinema, theater, that just uh, the purpose is only to enjoy and no mind nothing the mind so this uh, no if something is created to enjoy but uh, means give some nice feeling pleasure 
uh, even uh, towards the body I like. So even, you know, the sexy shows, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. sexy shows I understand very well and the people don't understand the sexy shows. I, I took an official theater, you know, Barbarella, that is very famous uh, uh, sexy star, and she played much better of any actresses. So means, because I saw her show, a uh, sexy show, and she was great as an actress too. So she was a big artist and it's not easy to make even sexy shows. Uh, means, um, I don't want to say that Pirandello <laughs> is a sexy show, but anyway, Pirandello is so big that you know what I read before was about love and sometimes is about sex too because we don't have to forget sex is not taboo sex okay uh, no is uh, uh, something that is part of us and of course with some um, roles we can uh, uh, mean sex is a part of theater too oh, yeah. and because it's a part of the life yeah it's very well said and um i guess we have just a few minutes to go and um so i'm hoping that um the next time we see you on planet Glee, we will um i mean i've learned a lot just listening to you so and and i uh i really like that uh, you're talking about roles, you know, I, that's, that is, I, I think something that, that, the the abstract theater, the absurd theater was trying to take away those, you know, formalities. Oh, yes. Maybe sometime, maybe in another time, uh, if you like, we can invite a person here that yeah. is against our principles oh. so maybe it could be a war a you know conflict oh, no. that could be helpful because uh, some person that is against so this could be helpful so towards the audience i think to reverse the matter no what maybe we can uh, have some agreement also with some people that uh, can't understand something like that. We will not sacrifice anybody. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much. And uh, I enjoy to uh, come back in your great program, uh, Planet Glee. And uh, what I said is also thanks to the energy that with Jennifer, that Jennifer is uh, generating. So uh, I, I said to her, when I am in Planet Glee with Jennifer, I can't express myself. So oh, this I'm is so great. Uh, so, mm, so, uh, and so uh, I think uh, um, I am happy now, and I hope the, your audience could be uh, glad to be with us and uh, I love your audience because I received some messages etc cool. and this very nice audience and uh, so uh, thank you to everybody and first to Jennifer Glee uh, it, that's so and Beivac of, of course <laughs> <laughs> Beivac absolutely is a great 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 organization of yeah. many uh, you know, channels and uh, great programs from San Francisco. Uh, merci uh, for your gentility. Thank you so much for being here. And once again, uh, Pirandello, it's a uh, fan. I haven't read, but I want, I will now. <laughs> you know Pirandello anyway. I've heard of him. I, I love Ionesco because he writes in French, but which I can read, but I, I, uh, I, he'll help me with some of the Italian, I hope. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you to everybody. Thank you to Jennifer.